Hi there, Gemini. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 12th of May. If we look at the traditional concept of good guy, bad guy, this week has a little bit of that about it. On one hand, with Mercury in your sign forging a gorgeous link to Venus, which is combining with Uranus, you could find yourself connecting with one person or a group of people where you really are on such a, high, a highly attuned level together that you can come up with some fabulous ideas that are groundbreaking or just have some really great fun. But there's another influence, that's the good guys, but there's another influence which could sap your energy and your morale as the sun is face to face with Saturn on the first couple of days of this week. And also the full moon which occurs on Wednesday suggests that if something has been dragging you down of late, maybe it does need further analysis from an emotional viewpoint. And that's not something that all Geminis find particularly easy. For you, it's much more about deconstructing things from an intellectual viewpoint, but maybe you need to feel the pain if something's not quite working out for you. And I think the issue here can be a simple word, and it's called trust. So as much as there may be this one situation, person or group of people, which are really exciting you and seem to have fantastic potential, there may be another situation which is actually causing quite a lot of sadness. And it may all boil down to feeling that someone has not actually been entirely truthful or honest with you. This could be around finances, it could be around a business situation, it could be around your future, it could be around the politics in a group of friendships, a, a group situation where perhaps people have not been quite as straightforward as you would like. Even at work, there may be some sly gossip or politics going on. All you can do is try to take the best of this week and be realistic about the more challenging side of it. Unfortunately, we can't please all of the people all of the time. And someone actually may be driven by a real sense of jealousy because you do have such an epiphescent personality. And when you're on form, and you could be if you're absolutely determined not to be in any way ground down by the more tricky aspects of this week, you could really shine and someone may find that very hard to deal with. And then, towards the end of this week, Mars is preparing to go forward, uh, forwards motion again in the most vibrant and bright, positive part of your scope, your fifth solar house. And that's going to give you an enormous burst of vitality between now and July. So you've got a lot to look forward to. So even if your love life or your social situation or creativity has been a little bit blunted or not gone quite to plan over the last couple of months, there is a lot more to look forward to. So if there are disappointments this week, it is about keeping a sense of perspective, but also giving yourself permission to deal with the sadnesses, grieve, let them go, and then embrace the good stuff. Thank you for joining me. Good luck, and goodbye for now.